What's up everybody, this is Tempest. On an average day I get about 20 million ideas. Usually about five turn out to be good. Today I had a great idea and it's Galio Jungle. So you start Hunter's Machete, four pots, blue buff, classic. And you start with your W, which is your um, it's your main asset in the jungle because when things hit you, you heal. It's like Warwick, but you don't have to hit things. You just let them hit you. And then you get Q second, and you're gonna max that first because it does a butt ton of damage to jungle creeps. Here's a clip of me taking down red buff pretty easily at level two. Again, I use the W on myself for sustain, and I just use the Q whenever it's up to try to blow it down. Um, so as far as the build goes on Jungle Galio, um, you're going to want to do Elder Lizard. I mean, not Elder Lizard. You're going to want to do Spectral Wraith, and then Sork Shoes. And then there's a lot of good items that work on Galio. Like, anything with MR is really good. So Abyssal Scepter, if you want to be tankier, do Spear Visage, Banshee's Veil. For jungling, Banshee's Veil is probably better than Spear Visage, in my opinion. So you can do that. And Rylize is pretty good, because you you're going to want to be kind of tanky. Um, I also recommend, as you're probably, after maybe getting a Negatron Cloak, you might want to get a Iceborne Gauntlet for a little more damage and wave clear as well as mana because Galio, Galio's jungling can be tricky when you don't have blue buff due to his um, small amount of mana that you start out with. Alright, so I've just been dicking around in the jungle, so in this clip I'm going to come in for the Gankaroonie. Uh, I have to wait for Jinx to go in far enough before I E in, get the speed up. I am able to land some skill shots, so I get the QA off. That gets her pretty low. Uh, she burped both her summoners, so that was a worth gank in my opinion. So this is my first gank uh, with my ultimate. Um, for those of you who don't know what Galley's ultimate does, it's a pretty bullshit ability uh, that ropes them in while doing massive amounts of damage, and you can heal during it with your W. So I pop that off easy, uh, land a, get the flash in. You know, I, I miss pretty much everything because I my Galia mechanics are terrible, but. Managed to get a kill onto Jinx, um, so I kind of saved the day there. And here's another successful gank from Galio Jungle. I forgot exactly what happened here, but basically, Nasus over commits to farming. Uh, I get the speed up and the slow on him. Um, oh, you know what? This is actually where he gets away. But but this is pretty. This is pretty pro bait because I just I sit in this bush. Yeah, and he comes back in. Yeah, what what an idiot. Okay. So this basically uh, guarantees his demise, like taunt him in and then get him with a quick Q before Garen can KS my uh, hard work. For some reason, Yasuo thought it was a great idea to just try to get my turret while I'm standing right freaking there. Unfortunately, my taunt didn't pull, me, pull him to me, but I was able to burst him down. Uh, at this point, I have my Spectral Wraith completed, as well as a Negatron Cloak, which gives me extra damage due to Galia's passive. The large amount of CC that Galio brings to the table, coupled with his sustain on his W, is why I think Galio is such a good jungler. Um, in this team fight, I'm going to use pretty much all my abilities just to make sure that Warwick can't get away. I straight up taunt him, and I think Sona picks up the kill, but I sped her up with my E. Uh, and then we chase Yasuo. I don't know why I ran that way, but I come in with another E to get the flank maneuver. And uh, here they are under tower. Now, this fight's going to go horribly wrong, but for a minute it looks sweet because I went in, uh, NASA's got the tower, and I went in on Yasuo, but then he killed all of us with his ult. Classic. But it would have been sweet if I had gotten in there and landed probably a few more Qs and... I had to show one bad clip because all those other clips were just me dominating those poor nabs. So in this clip, Warwick 
tries to BM me, and I just ult him under my tower, and he just gets wrecked. Now I'm thinking, you know, I'm typing things to my team. I'm thinking, you know, let's make a strategy. But I couldn't be more wrong, because all I needed to do was go in and just destroy. Now I didn't actually do much in that part, but I was there with the CC and consistent damage to ensure that uh, I think that was Blitzcrank died in that clip. Now, this wasn't a great game for my team. We did end up losing. Uh, some flamers thought that Galio Jungle wasn't all that. I believe, I believe I'm typing that now. But we were able to get the whoop on this Nasus before we ended up losing hard and surrendering. Now, this Nasus is incredibly farmed. So we have to basically gang up on him, but this was like our last this was like our last attempt at, at uh finishing the game, but the reason why part of the reason why I was able to live there is because I E'd Garen who was taking most of the damage from or sorry, I W'd Garen who was taking most of the damage. And that in turn healed me. So that's my uh that's, I guess that's my guide to Galio Jungle, short and sweet, but look out for that in the future because it's going to wreck people.